people often burden the body for their physical reactions. In many cases, it is held accountable for sexual misconduct. But are we a victim of our body or the mind? Scientists say that 95% of our brain's busyness is at the subconscious level. I believe 99% of the time, we are guided by the mind, an external influence. It is thought, or as I call it, the universal software that runs on our body. A consignment of workflow is triggered by tallying with your knowledge bank to react to anything, consciously or subconsciously, and in some cases, even unconsciously. We can train our brains to trigger such a workflow by reacting to impulses subconsciously, and that's how we become fast at acquired skills. Our body right. is an autonomous piece of machinery. It is the hardware that the mind or thought loans for its use. But that doesn't stop or eliminate our body's native code, and it continues functioning as it was meant to until it burns out. It is um, known that 80% of our mental exercises or worries never come true. We still stress our bodies by deliberating various scenarios fed via the mind. Many believe that 97% of our brain is exploited by it, and only 3% is granted for the use of the body. Our enhanced brain power is a result of the mind violation. The bigger the brain you have, the bigger processing power you have. But that doesn't mean the size of your head. The brain, but <laughs> human brain, has evolved to process more and more thoughts. And due to its extreme interference, we can never know our body's organic response to stimuli. Perhaps uh, watching a young child would give us some clues, but even that is impossible as we start teaching them the human way of life from a very young age. And all of our knowledge is thought-driven. We cannot let our body's native intelligence guide us, for it is impossible in our artificial society as our surroundings are not childproof. Not that nature is childproof, but it is, it might be hard for you to believe, but it is better than the world that we have created. So we have to train our kids so that they can enter the world as the perfect victims of the mind.